Let me try to explain a little bit better the three major steps in marketing as a process. The first step, which was also in the previous slide, um, is the market opportunity analysis. And this has many different tools, uh, which you may know about from other courses. Uh, at a macro level, there is a PEST analysis, which stands for political, economic, social, and technological analyses. So you're looking at the macro environment and seeing how that might affect your individual market. Then on a more micro level, you have other tools like 3C, which is pretty popular in Japan and Asia. It's the company, customer, and competitors. And then the five forces, which include all the different forces that are acting on the company, including the customer, the substitutes, the various competitors, and also the suppliers. Finally, um, many of you are probably quite uh, adept at using SWOT analyses, strengths, weaknesses, and opportunity and threats. All these tools are used to analyze the opportunities uh, in a given market for the company. The next step is the marketing strategy, per se. And this involves segmenting the market. Nobody, at least nowadays, is very difficult for a company to produce one product that serves everybody. It's much more profitable, it makes much more sense to look at the market and divide it into similar groups, and these are called segments. And once you segment a market into different groups that are similar in different ways, then it's easier to think about which segment you want to target. And finally, how do you position your own company's product or service so that it is attractive to that target market? There are different kinds of segments, and you can think of segments uh, in terms of different demographic segments, for example, income levels, uh, age levels, uh, regional segments, this kind of thing. And targets are based on you know, the most attractive segment that you can find in the market. Finally, uh, the positioning is really relative to the competitors. You have to have a unique position which differentiates yourself from the competitors. Step three, the final step, is the marketing mix. And this is more of a tactical kind of thing. The four P's of marketing, which are product, price, place, and promotion, represent the different aspects of the marketing plan that you can change throughout the life of a strategy. A strategy typically would last for three to five years, whereas a marketing mix, which is more tactical, may last for a year or even less.